Oh, hey everyone, we're here at the first annual Long Island uh, Fig Festival, and I'm here with Doug. And Doug is a longtime member now, kind of a longtime member, I guess as long as I am. He's been on rfigs.com, and it's a really great community, and that's kind of what this gathering is about, is our community coming together. And uh, it's here in the Northeast, this, this gathering. But Doug is from, he's from California, and he took a, he took a flight yesterday. And he arrived here yesterday, and now he's here in the Northeast uh, for the gathering. So you could tell that uh, Doug and our community really loves figs, and we're a really great community, I guess you could say. Doug, I uh, there was a, a post you made in the forums recently about uh, a tree that you were looking for, a very specific variety. The TVG Garden Tree. Uh, and uh, it's something that I have, and I know that it's a very early variety, and it's something that you're going to want to have in the Northeast. Um, because of its earliness, I hear it drops figs its first couple years, but I hear it's also very tasty. And I'm kind of wondering why you specifically want this tree. With our heat there, the, the lack of humidity, that has a concentration of flavors, it's probably the, uh, the, the nicest tasting fig that, that I've, again, 270 varieties, so I've been able to sample a few. It's one that's really dear to my heart. You have 270 varieties. Don't do this at home, kids. <laughs> so. I didn't know that. Wow, okay. All right, so how many years have you been growing figs, Doug? Uh, about 18 months. Well, look at that. Look at that, guys. You can you can have 270 varieties in 18 months. No, there's nothing halfway here. And out of, yeah, it's either all or nothing with me, too. So, uh, so Doug, you, you really like the acidity of it, you said. I do. Uh, Fruit that bites back. Yeah. So, and Doug really likes varieties that, that have that bite. And some of the other varieties we taste that have I'm that bite. I'm waiting for you to go on vacation. He really likes the red Lebanese uh, Micro Valley. John. There's also Nero 600M that we tried. The unknown Pastelleri. But again, it's layer. one that requires a wash. Yeah. So, so there's quite a few figs out there that you would say that have, and for me, I haven't tasted too much acidity in many figs. The most acidic fig I have that I've tasted is Smith. Already. And the Igo, that's reported, again, mine hasn't borne fruit yet, okay. but that's another one that's reportedly uh, has a real strong acidic bite to it. Okay. So if you guys are looking for very acidic you know, flavors in your figs, you know, Doug's the person to talk to. Um, it's an addiction. And Doug, you have a lot of freeze-dried figs here. Tell us how you did this process. Uh, yes, it's the sublimation process. The, they freeze them to uh, 40 below zero, yeah. and then it goes almost to an absolute vacuum. Okay, so then the, well, how do you get them that cold, though, to begin with? The, the machine both freezes, and uh, there's a vacuum pump attached to it. So it's a just two-step process. These take about 30 hours. Yeah. So, so if I wanted to freeze-dry anything, I could go to the store like Walmart and Definitely. buy yeah, peaches, a freeze dryer, I guess. How much do they go for? Between like 2800 to, to 40, 4100. No way. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, they, this is new. Uh, yeah. It used to be 30,000 for the cheapest. No way. But, but now there's a home model. Uh, Harvest Sprite. Okay. Wonderful. And you're telling me, you said this earlier in the video, that if you were to put this fig in water... But within 20 minutes or so, it's reconstituted. You would never guess that it was ever freeze-dried. So, 21st century. Right. So not only are you freeze-drying your figs, Doug, but you're also making jam. And you mentioned blackberries earlier in the video. Right. And you're making a blackberry fig jam. Best of both worlds. Honestly, I love blackberry jam. I couldn't get enough of it. And then if you add figs to that, I didn't think it could get any better. But it is. It's that good. Good, good stuff. Are you selling this jam, or are you just making it for yourself? Black market only. Black market only. <laughs> So, you want to talk about the process of how you made this? Because I, oh. well, both figs and blackberries have a you know, huge amount of seeds to them. So rather than eat something that you spend the whole time crunching on, yeah. I just use a food mill to uh, remove all the tougher skins from the figs. Okay, uh, removes all of the, the blackberry and the fig seeds from it. Uh, my own recipe, I, I just use four cups of the, uh, the fig puree. And, uh, I'm sorry, six cups of fig puree and four cups of the blackberry puree. Uh, blend them together, uh, just about a third of the amount of sugar that you more normally put into it because the figs are just naturally sweet to begin with. Okay. And it's addictive. Yeah. Is there a certain 
a certain variety? Because I know you in this particular jam or this particular yeah, this particular jam, you use thermolito figs. Right. And I mean, I'm sure there's a certain reason for that. Maybe it's a very jammy fig. Trial and error. Uh, I started out with uh, using just a couple of the real prevalent ones, blackjack. Uh, was, uh, was my big one for last year, okay. and it's a real fruity flavored fig, very juicy, so you don't need a lot of them, and you have a huge amount of puree, and uh, it turned out really well. People were, you know, I'm out of it, you know, the, the kids are screaming, I can't get them to stop. It's Sin really good. Sin I had some. It's, it's amazing. But this year I, I went with something with a, a little more pop to it. So yeah. Uh, a really flavorful fig. The Thermolito that we kind of have yeah. exclusive on there. Yeah. With having the, uh, the wasp in our area, they caprify the figs, and so as birds will, will eat the fruit, they spread the, the joy you know, around the neighborhood. Yeah. One of the trees there that they grew up, uh, Meteorito, is another wonderful one. Again, just a uh, uh, wonderful gift of nature. Yeah. And the Thermolito was, uh, our, again, our claim to fame. So. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, Doug, for talking about how to make jam and, and freeze-drying figs. It's been a pleasure. Again, warning is subjective. <laughs>